has been 10 days since the Cumbre Vieja volcano in Spain wreaked havoc on the La Palma island and left a trail of destruction. Scientists are now warning that the chemical reactions between lava and water could cause powerful underwater explosions. Now, the lava has reached the Atlantic Ocean. Burning hot lava has met water, causing the emission of potentially toxic gases. Many families were evacuated from villages close to the volcano. Todok is one such village where families are attempting to rebuild their lives as they have lost their houses, businesses and most of their belongings. As the lava destroyed many roads along the way, local authorities have roughly estimated the damage to be 400 million euros while relying upon European funds for reconstruction. Let's take a look at the current situation in La Palma. A large stream of white hot lava emerged after the lava reached the Atlantic Ocean on Tuesday evening. This led to concerns of the contact releasing acidic gas into the air that could damage a person's eyes, respiratory tract, irritate their skin or even cause breathing problems. The Spanish military emergency unit has assigned experts to measure the toxicity of the gases released when lava meets the seawater. Though the lava is currently pouring into the ocean at midday, the wind is veering the toxic gases out into the sea. This has kept the local population away from the toxic emissions for the time being. The meeting of the rock, which melted at 1000 degrees Celsius with seawater, with a temperature of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, is particularly risky. To ensure safety, the regional government of the region issued a safety perimeter with a radius of 3.5 kilometers on land and 2 nautical miles at sea. While the lava from the volcano has been flowing into the sea, which could potentially release dangerous gases. Experts suggest that the risk to local population on the island as of now is very minor. <laughs> 